just birthday cake and tire swings. Summer camp and water wings. A distant memory. I was diagnosed with a brain tumor in August of 2019 and then later found out that it was stage three anaplastic ependymoma. I found out on the day I was supposed to move into college for the first time on my freshman year. So that was shocking, not expected. They have been so important throughout the whole thing. I think that when you have a nurse or when you have a doctor that sits down and not only helps take care of you, but actually takes the time to get to know you, it completely changes the process. It's so hard to have a good time or feel safe in the hospital because you're going through this this horrible thing and this thing that no one wants to ever go through. But when you experience love and care, on a higher level with nurses and doctors who really genuinely feel like they care about you. It is, it's an amazing feeling. Obviously the second time COVID was, we were in the heart of COVID. The first thing I can start off with is, is we've never seen a year like 2020 and hope to goodness we never will again. We had almost 200 patients across the organization in uh, December. So we were really struggling. At one point in time here at Barberton, we had 22 ICU beds. And I remember it was December the 19th on a Friday afternoon. We had four people in the emergency department with nowhere to put them and nowhere to send them because nobody had ICU beds. It's been sort of a uh, continuum of evolving emotions. Uh, what's been consistent throughout all of it is it's been stressful and overwhelming and uncertain. Well, our staff, I feel like they've been in a marathon, uh, but sprinting the entire time since uh, last year. So, you know, they do a great job and I admire them each and every day. Everybody felt felt very um, determined, not, not without anxiety. Don't get me wrong about that, but just this is what we're here for. And, and, and you could go and talk to an ICU nurse or an ED doc or a med surge uh, therapist and, and, and they would give you the same response as we, we feel like we can handle this. If I can make people feel the way that my doctors and my nurses made me feel, which is just just something like some form of emotion like some form of groundedness and happiness or sadness or just something that I can make people feel the way that all of my doctors and nurses made me feel then I know that I was meant to do what I want to do. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me such great pleasure. If you'll take your gaze to the back of the room, I'd like to introduce Akronos, Molly Oldham.